All right, so here we go. All right, there's some still a little Gatorade in it. So I'm in my bathroom right now. So I, uh, I'm gonna take this right off. There we go. I may look a little red. I just went to cold. Right, see. Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. Okay, so let's wrap it up All right, there we go. Now, there's a little techie right there. That's going to be fine because it's going to be in the river. It's going to stop me, stick to it, and then they help. Now, of course, we're not going to use the cap. So, that I'm going to put this in the recycle once I am done. So, there's still a little Gatorade in here. So, I am going to use my uh, sink. Okay, that was the soap bottle that you saw. Uh, the sink, my sink. The cleanest, then we are going to cut it. So yeah, you always want to clean your bottles first, but it smells good though. Put it in there and grab the cap. it off if you want but it's going to be put in like a creek so it doesn't matter if it's wet or not i'm going to keep my wet because i'm going to put this in a creek so yeah <sighs> down to cut all right so um i'm going to cut to right there so yeah so all right <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna replace this blade real quick. So yeah, I'm gonna do like a vlog sequence. All right. So, so my blades are in here somewhere. That's a family photo. This should be in here. I'm trying to look for them, but my freaking uh, drawers in this. I don't think they are in here. I remember putting them in here though. I don't know where they are. Okay, I guess I have to go with scissors. <sighs> I have to go get the scissors. I will go find the blades for this, but. I'll keep it in here. So just be BRB. Uh, nah. I get the my scissors. Something, uh, yeah. all right. All right, it's clean. Okay, I got that off. Now you could use scissors or some knife or a pocket knife. I, I had an exacto blade, but the tip broke. Um, focused. All right, the tip is off. I'll I'll get a picture of it and put it in this video when I when I when I edit it. So yeah. Now, if you have sandpaper, you can sand this down so when you get, when the crawfish go in, they won't get cut. All right, you got your bottle, and just put 
didn't need that. Now you're done. But I got a stapler. I'm gonna staple it in. Or you can use like um um flex steel tape. That's work because it's a sealer and it's waterproof. So I'm gonna get my staple and I'll staple that. So BRB again. My stapler and look like I went to check. That's, a, that's enough for this whole thing. So, yeah. Oh. Probably use some glue. But yeah. And go out well. And get rid of all sort kind of thick. Yeah, see. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to get some glue. So yeah. But yeah, I you, there's so many rice, but I'm just gonna glue this. And basically what you do is that you put some like meat. Now, shrimps, they eat meat, all right? And I'll put you guys right, okay, I'll just hold it right there. Shrimps eat meat, um, especially when you're trapping them. All right, there you go. This will work on crayfish and shrimp. And basically, the perfect meat that you could use is like um, pepperoni, because it, the reason why you use meat, because it smells good. And the smell will travel through the water and the the shrimp or crayfish, crawfish. I live up north, so I call them crawfish or crayfish. Cause down south, like Texan, uh, down Texas, they call they call them crayfish. I'm from up north. I live in Indiana, so I'm up north, and basically I uh, I say crawfish. So yeah, um, so I prefer yeah just use meat because. It smells good and it travels through the water and then the shrimp or crayfish will smell it or crawfish I'll just I'll just say crayfish for, for now and basically they'd smell it they go into the trap then they can't get back out because they're done and it's clear I and mean, there's nothing bright on it and so yeah but I prefer peppermint yeah oh hold up yes you can start wiping better so you're clean with okay. So I'd rather use pepperoni because it's super strong. And my mom, she had pepperoni once and I could smell it from the back of the seat. And yeah, it, it's strong, it's super strong. So yeah, I am going to post this on YouTube now. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next fishing DIY video. And you want to put a hole in it, so you tie fishing string to it and put it onto the rock. So yeah, if you guys like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.